I'm very pleased to be here today to announce that we are uh, last able to initiate uh, two studies of cannabidiol for treatment of epilepsy. These are studies that were enabled almost a year ago by the passage of Carly's Law, uh, which allowed us to begin the process of working through the regulatory paperwork and the requirements of both the FDA and the federal government to obtain cannabidiol oil uh, and to test it in patients with epilepsy. Uh, these studies are finally approved. We have both DEA and FDA approval in place at this point, and uh, we are moving ahead with them. We expect uh, to begin uh, enrolling patients and participating in the, in the coming weeks. It's a good day for Alabama. This is not about uh, anybody but the uh, state of Alabama and the people uh, and the children that are suffering in Alabama. Uh, I'll echo what Dr. Standard said. Hopefully this will prove to be effective um, and we can go from here and uh, see what treatments uh, this might open up at a, a future date. I'm proud as a, as a dad of Carly that she might have this chance and the hope uh, is finally here for her, uh, but not only for her, but for the whole state of Alabama. This is about them, uh, not one particular group, but we do also obviously thank the doctors, uh, the legislature uh, for doing their part uh, but it's really the people of Alabama that their voice was heard, and uh, today we can start uh, looking forward to treatment. And uh, it may not work for Carly. I've said it a lot. It may not work for my daughter, but it might work for somebody, and that is, uh, that's what it's all about. The main things we are looking for in this study is first to determine the safety and the side effects of use of this cannabidiol oil in uh, persons with epilepsy and adults and children. So that will be a primary outcome. We'll be looking very carefully at the question of whether this is safe. Are there side effects that are observed? Are there changes in blood tests or blood chemistry that would be a signal that uh, something is, is, a, is a side effect? Uh, we will be looking at whether it works, of course. Uh, the way we'll be doing that is we are going to gather information about how often these individuals have seizures before they start, and then we'll collect more information on that as they go through the study. We'll be looking to see whether there's a change or reduction in seizure frequency. So uh, safety first and efficacy second is really the two main things we're looking for in this study. Well, I hope that it works. I'd be really excited to find out that this is a useful and meaningful therapy and that it doesn't have significant side effects and it really helps people with epilepsy. Epilepsy is a, is a really difficult problem. There, uh, are thousands of people in Alabama, about 1% of the population has epilepsy. So really in the state of Alabama alone, you're talking about over 40,000 people affected by epilepsy. Now some of those are controlled by the medications we have, and, and I'm thankful we do have some medications that work for quite a few people. But there's a substantial number of people where their seizures simply cannot be controlled by any of the medications or surgeries or other procedures that we have today. 